Okay, guys, fifth cut. I know, slow and boring, right? I know, what are you going to do? Take a look at what we got on the chamber before I pull the valves out this time. It looks pretty good, you know. Yeah, you got a lot of... A lot of flow going right to that exhaust valve. Give me some input on that. Tell me whether you like it or you hate it. Another thing I noticed was I took some metal off the back wall of the chamber. Not a lot. Right where that uh, liquid hits. I don't think I'll be able to do that. That's only like 150 thousandths thick and I didn't take that much off. So, it's only like 180 completely stock, which I was really surprised that they would make a chamber that thin. Give me some input on that. Maybe we'll probably have to leave that the way it is, but I can still take a good piece out of here, because this is uh, like a solid chunk here. That's, for, that's that big square. They use that for machining they, when they manufacture it. It doesn't help airflow at all. So you notice I just kind of round the other side off, but we get a lot of flow across that, so. Okay, our spread on the valve is not as wide. Interesting, right? Our spot in the bowl looks a little narrower. Still got a nice angle going across. Not bad. Let's take a look at the board before I forget. I think it is possible I swear to tear less than what I've usually been doing, but I like the angle on that. I like the speckle action. Give me some feedback whether you like it or hate it. Okay, I should remind you guys, this cut, the only thing I did is I put a little bit more angle. On this, made this short side a little bit wider. Give it a little more area to get to get air across on the short side. Now, what I think that'll do is it'll knock our swirl depth back a little bit. But we got to get some flow through here, otherwise we'll never get the power we need to get out of here. You can still see we have uh, quite a big bump where the, the bolt comes through. I really haven't taken a lot out of that. I can, can take a bunch more out of it, but I want to try to get the short side taken care of first. That's actually a pretty cool view right there from the bowl right up into the chamber. Okay, I did shrink the throat radius up a little bit on this. Uh, at least the part of the bowl that's not the short side. The short side basically the same as last time you guys have seen it. I did raise up the roof a bit, but our outlet is still the same size. So I was expecting big gains. They just weren't there. Okay, you guys have seen the fourth cut before. Now I took out more on the short side radius. It's been polished. I raised the roof uh, and throat on the exhaust. The exhaust port still has a rough texture, except for the short side. That's uh, good in info. Okay, so fifth cut versus fourth cut. These pluses and minuses are in reference to this. It's gotten to the point where we have a loss all the way up to 250 thousandths. Not great, right? But we do have gains the rest of the curve. And some of the gains are relatively decent. You know, 252, 245. I originally said I could get these around 260, 265. Uh, I still have some spots I can get more more action out of, but I have a feeling the short side radius and the angle on that high helix vein is about done. Now I may do an experimental port where I take more of that out, but I really don't like to see these losses. Okay, these are great, but I don't want to see these losses. Now, which one would make more power, this one or this one? I would say it depends on your application, your cam. Okay, let's take a look at our swirl. Because we're getting more flow in the opposite direction, it should knock our swirl back, right? Minus, minus, plus, minus, 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 minus. Not huge minuses, 
but in the right direction. If we put a 600 plus lift cam in it, we still have more than we really want as far as swirl. Now, it'll be interesting to see what happens to the swirl when I take out some more metal by that center bolt bolt down the divided uh, ports. All right, let's take a look at our our air flows and see what happens to them. Okay, guys, interesting stuff. This is our fourth cut air speeds you've seen before. Here's our fifth cut air speeds. We're getting more flow across this, but our pinch got slower everywhere. That really doesn't make too much sense to me. So I'm not 100% I'm not sure what's going on there. Now, take a look at our roof speeds before. Our roof speeds after went back a bunch. Why? We have more area on the short side, so we're getting more air across the short side. So, what did our short side speeds do? Down and down. Okay? When I look at these air speeds, now these are, there's a high discrepancy between these guys, right? Even more so than, well, let's take a look. It's about 250 to 190, 220, 140. Interesting uh, differences there. Okay, now I took a decent amount of metal out of that exhaust port. Fourth cut, fifth cut. Minus, 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 plus, equals, plus, plus, plus. The gains are small. Now, it will be a high RPM thing. It's probably good where it is. With a pipe, with a small pipe, it goes to 190.2 at 600 and 200.7 with a 1.78 pipe. It's just tops out a touch better than it did before, but it's also a bigger port. Let's take a look at the airspeeds and how they, they look. Okay, very telling, right? I gave it more area on the roof or raised the roof up. So what happened to our airspeeds? Well, these are our fourth cut airspeeds. Right? These are our fifth cut airspeeds, plus, plus, minus, plus, minus, minus, really died in the center, plus, plus, minus. We got more airflow at the top of that port, which kind of makes sense, right? Okay, guys. Let me think what we got to talk about before we go on. Okay, I don't think I showed you guys this. I apologize if I did. But that short side has been brought over to the right a little bit. It's been brought over to the left quite a bit. Okay, if you look straight down, you can see how much it's been moved. Okay, it has a lot more area now to get air around this way, which is, of course, bangs right into our, our air that's going up our high helix ramp. It'll be a turbulent charge, no doubt. Will it make power? We'll find out. I think my next job is to take this down. I'm expecting to break right through it because I need some area here. See how that really gets squished down here? I don't see that really helping. I'm going to open that bad boy up. It's going to be a high RPM mill, so if it's open to that bolt hole, it don't make a damn bit of difference. And uh, this is the junk head, so might as well see if it likes it. All right, guys. I think we're good with this today. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good night.